It's very easy to find a problem in healthcare. It's very complex to solve it. It's even harder to find somebody who is actually going to pay for it. And a lot of entrepreneurs are thinking on the first part and not on the last part. I think this should be flipped. The biggest mistake innovators in digital health make is not sufficiently focusing on the path to adoption. The U.S. healthcare system is incredibly fragmented. It's fragmented not only with regards to the delivery of care, but also even around the decision making. So the person who decides whether to use an innovation is different than the person who benefits from the innovation, who could be different from the person who decides how much to pay for the innovation, who could be different than the person who decides whether to pay. A founder may create a solution, for example, targeting pathologists, and as you would expect, they'll go speak to pathologists, get them on board. Pathologists may love your solution, but they're not the only ones making these decisions. IT may push back because it doesn't integrate into their electronic medical record, or it's dead on arrival because there are no reimbursement codes. There are tons of interdependencies on top of misaligned incentives in healthcare. And you really need to either understand how that whole system works or partner with people who do. That's the only way to build something that customers will adopt and actually pay for. Most founders don't realize that FDA approval is just a major milestone. There is a way to go. You need to convince the, the payers and the patients. Founders tend to underestimate the complexity of this ecosystem and what it takes to take uh, an idea or a solution to market, which is one of the advantages of Team 8, where we bring the stakeholders and make them part of the process.